Welcome to Pumpkin Spice Latte Tasting. I'm Miss Beatty. Mrs. Daniel. Miss Howard. And today we're going to be tasting and guessing pumpkin spice lattes from 151, Starbucks, and 7-Eleven. Start number yeah. one? Yeah. Number one. All right. Cheers. Yes, cheers. <laughs> First I'm gonna smell, Sorry. then it's, I'm gonna swirl. It's still warm too. Oh my God, it's so cinnamony. Oh, it doesn't really taste like pumpkin at all. It just kind of tastes like a sweet coffee. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do you taste the pumpkin at all? No, thank goodness. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's like they tried to add a pumpkin spice syrup to it, but forgot the pumpkin. Yeah. Right? It tastes more or like, like a creamer. It tastes more like cinnamon. Like, I could, I could roll with that. I don't think I can rock with the orange one. Okay. It also has like a nutty, like almost hazelnut-ish. Yes. Okay. Number two. Number two. All right. Well, cheers again. Oh, cheers, cheers again. Cheers again. <laughs> okay. I taste zero pumpkin. There's zero pumpkin in this that one. This is just coffee. This is just coffee this and milk. Just this is what I would drink on a regular basis. <laughs> it's good. I like that. I it's good. Know where that's this from. This is tasty. This is my favorite one yeah, so far. Yeah, I want to know where that's tasty. from. It tastes just like coffee and milk. That's good. Okay. Oh, the aftertaste is a little bit cinnamon, but maybe that's the first one that's still there. <clears throat> we did clear our palettes. Yeah, that's true. We didn't have it any does saltines. have that Starbucksy flavor to me, but I'm um, not sure. You think the scary I think the orange, orange one is Starbucks. Orange is Starbucks. If this doesn't have pumpkin in it, then I don't know what the orange <laughs> is all about. I'm concerned about the food dye. That's yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> all right, here we go. Orange Let's try number is three. Candy corn. <laughs> oh, I don't like candy <laughs> corns. I do. <laughs> Okay, it smells pumpkin-y. Oh yeah, this one makes me nervous. Mm. Oh, that makes me more nervous. I'm pregnant, I might puke. <laughs> it's not terrible though. Y'all think it's terrible? It's kind of, it's cold too. Oh, that is awful. It's too pumpkin-y for me. So I feel like this one, like somebody pumped something from like a dispenser and put it in the coffee. Like, this would be 7-Eleven. Flavoring. I feel like this is a 7-Eleven type thing. That's my guess. That's what I would say. 7-Eleven number one. Okay. I was more of like 7-Eleven isn't going to have the fancy pumps, which is why 7-Eleven might be number two and just be the standard coffee and milk. <laughs> I've never been this to one tasted more like a roast. So I can't. Oh, that's Me true. Neither. This tasted more like a roast. So maybe that's 151. Mm -hmm. Or wait, you think this is... 151. You think this is 7-Eleven? One is 7-Eleven. Yeah. Two is 151. I think. And then three is Starbucks, because they're guess. trying to go too hard. Well, you guys hit them right on the nose. Yes! Woo! Nice. Oh, nice. High five it. Mm. Woo! What do we win? Mm. What do we win? No, seriously, do we get the rest of that coffee? I'm Maya Martinez. And welcome to this year's fall edition of The Bachelorette. Our bachelorette, Grace, is a girl with a lot of flair who's not afraid of adventure and is looking to fill the pumpkin-shaped hole in her heart. I'm so excited to be the season's bachelorette. It's always been a dream of mine to find my perfect pumpkin, and I just can't wait to add a little bit of pumpkin spice to my life. 
Hello and welcome Grace to The Bachelorette. How are you feeling? I'm so excited to be here. I'm ready to find my new Jacko I'm pumpkin. Yes, pumpkin. Okay, well, on to the candidates. Okay, now go get to know these smashing pumpkins. Hello, gorgeous. Are you into arts and crafts? You from here? Or another patch? <laughs> You're so funny! I just love walking in the fall. Now that Grace has gotten to know her contestants, it's time to move on to the candle lighting ceremony. Jack. We have lots in common, and I love your personality. But you just aren't what I'm looking for. And I'm sorry, but I don't want you on my doorstep. Michael, they say beauty is in the pie of the beholder. But we're just too different. Jason, you are great to talk to, but we can't be together when things get political. So, I guess I'll be seeing you around the patch. Thank you, and goodbye. Gomez, please roll forward. Gomez, I felt as though we had a serious connection, and I only have pies for you, so will you please accept this candle and light my fire? Wait, come back! <laughs> well, that concludes this year's fall edition of The Bachelorette. We wish Grace luck as she hopes to catch her forever pumpkin. I don't get paid enough for this. Man, I'm hungry. Let's go to the vending machine. What are you thinking? Keep it down or she'll hear you. Anyways, we're not even supposed to be in the hall. We don't have our trust cards, remember? We're lucky we have a sub. Look, we can make it to the vending machines. I was in her class earlier and she left, she left her glasses at home, so we just have to be quiet. Okay, just be really quiet. Hey Jackson, have you seen the new Crocs? I got pink Crocs. I got the gibbets and everything that are on them. They're pretty cool. I mean, you should come see them sometime. Ah! Where are you going? Why are you yelling in the hallway? And where's your trust card? I don't card? have my trust card. What? I lost it. That was close. Yeah, we need to take off any loud or loose clothing. Ha, told you we'd make it. You sure did. Hey guys, do we have our trust cards?
did you get into baseball? When I was younger, I went to a game, and I saw Josh Hamilton. It was my first baseball game with my dad. It's getting kind of dark, isn't it? Oh, I guess it is. <coughs> I need water or something. Well, my house is nearby. Maybe you should come get some water before we leave. If you insist. This is me. Indeed it is. What did you just say? Oh, nothing. Sorry. All right then, this way. So, do you still have that baseball bat you were talking about earlier? Yes, I've kept it on me ever since I was a kid to remind me of my dad. That's adorable. Is it still usable? I mean, I suppose so. I haven't tried. Oh, wonderful. Did you still want the water? You know, David, out of all my dates, you've lasted the longest. Oh, okay. Did you want to see the bat? Here's the bat. I think I left my phone downstairs. I'll go get it. Hey, make sure to add my name. Excuse me? This is not your office. What are you doing here? I can explain. Let me explain. Oh my god. Oh my god. I, I, I didn't know what to do. Oh my god. I didn't know. I, even I have one foot in reality and I'm freaking out right now. You chloroformed the principal? Stop yelling at me. You're the ones that got caught. Hey, hey guys, guys, guys. I have an idea. It may sound a little weird, but trust me. Man, we all got chloroformed. Somebody chloroformed all of us. And we're all regaining consciousness at the same time. Who is she? And why does she have a rat? Uh. That was the worst idea ever. Can we just, like, like... Yeah, yeah, yeah.